Hey, it is Raccoon Recap here, a new YouTuber. I will share my favorite anime on this channel and I hope you will find the anime you like and enjoy my recaps. In the previous video, I've recapped Classroom of the Elite Season 1. Today, here comes Season 2. In the previous season, Ayano Kouji managed to make Class D get the first place in the exam on the island. After the exam, all the students take the cruise ship back to school. At this moment, another special exam is announced on the cruise ship. Ayano Kouji follows the instructions to a room where the teacher explains the rules of the exam to him. There are eight groups taking the exam this time, with 14 people in each group, who are selected from each class. The exam will last for three days, and the school will select one student from each group to be the VIP student. The other students can discuss and find out the VIP students. If the, the VIP student successfully conceals the identity, he will receive 500,000 private points. If a group gets the other group's VIP student right, each member of the group will receive 500,000 private points while their VIP student will receive 1 million private points. There are two more important rules. If a student gets the identity of the VIP student before the end of the test correctly, the student's class will receive 50 class points. However, if the student gets the wrong one, his class will have 50 class points deducted while the class of the VIP student will have 50 class points added. In addition, regardless of whether a student guesses the VIP student correctly or not in advance, his group's exam will be ended directly. The discussion to find out the VIP students is soon held. In Ayano Kouji's group, the students of class B ask the VIP student to reveal his identity, so that all the students can get 500,000 private points, which is apparently a win-win result. But class A now has the highest class points, and they don't want to be surpassed, so they are determined not to participate in the discussion, leaving the first day of the discussion with no result. Then, when Ayano Kouji and Suzune are discussing this exam, they are approached by the boss of class C, Ryuen, he states to Suzune that he already knows the answer to this exam and intends to join forces with Class D and Class B, defeating the top-ranked Class A by sharing identities of the VIP students. Suzune directly rejects Ryuen, because she feels that he is not a reliable person. When Ayano Kouji returns to his room, he meets Karuizawa flirting with a boy. Karuizawa asks the boy to teach a lesson to the girls of Class C who are always picking on her, but the boy refuses, causing Karuizawa to get very angry. During their argument, Ayano Kouji learns that Karuizawa flirting with boys around recently is to ask for their protection. Not long after, the discussion ends inconclusively again. When Karuizawa just leaves the seminar, the girls from Class C come to pick on her again. Seeing this, Ayano Kouji doesn't help her. The fellow boy can't stand it and rushes up to stop them. Unexpectedly, the girls in Class C seem to take pleasure in bullying Karuizawa, picking on her again soon after. Ayano Kouji observes all this from a short distance but still doesn't offer help. When the girls leave, Ayano Kouji takes the opportunity to threaten Karuizawa, asking her to splay her legs out. Thinking that Ayano Kouji wants her, Karuizawa does what he asks because she has no courage to resist now. But in fact, he just wants to make sure that Karuizawa will listen to him completely without the intention of molesting her. Ayano Kouji offers a deal that he can protect Karuizawa from being bullied. He just took the video of those girls bullying Karuizawa as an evidence, so those girls will not dare to bother Karuizawa anymore. In exchange, Karuizawa has to help Ayano Kouji unite the girls of Class D, and her first task is to help Ayano Kouji win this exam. At the last discussion, everyone, except the students in Class A, agrees to show the identity emails received from the school on their phones so that the VIP students can be identified quickly. Just when everyone is happy to find out the VIP student, the leader of Class B dials Ayano Kouji's phone out of caution, but to hear it ring in the hands of another student from Class D, which means that this student in Class D takes Ayano Kouji's phone and Ayano Kouji is the real VIP student. Students from other classes consider this behavior to be fraudulent and leave in anger, but in fact, the real VIP student is Karuizawa. Ayano Kouji exchanged his own cell phone with Karuizawa's at first, and then made another exchange with the classmate in Class D, which means the cell phone that just rang actually belongs to Karuizawa. But why would Karuizawa's phone ring when the leader of Class B dialed Ayano Kouji's number? It turns out that Ayano Kouji spent private points to buy the way of changing numbers from the homeroom teacher. After all, they can buy anything they want with private points in this school. Ayano Kouji did this to make other students mistake him as a VIP student. In fact, the leader of Class B knows all of this. She doesn't reveal it because either Class A or Class C guess the VIP student of Class D incorrectly. It will be good for Class B. However, Class C surprisingly wins the first place in this exam. Ayano Kouji, who has a superior intelligence, is also puzzled, wondering if Ryuen really knows the answer to this exam. After this test, Students in Class D are soon given a new test. The homeroom teacher announces that a sports festival is about to be held in the school. On this day, the whole grade will be divided into red and white teams, with Class D and Class A being the red team and Class B and Class C being the white team. 
they can recommend a classmate to participate in the competition or have the whole class join in together. The top three students in the competition will receive 1,000 private points, and 10 points will be added to their next written test while the last student will lose 1,000 private points. As for students in the bottom 10, they will lose 10 points in the next exam. Hearing that points will be deducted. Students all want to recommend those who are physically fit to join in the competition so that they can keep their points. But Suzune doesn't consider it a guaranteed way to win over other classes, and asks the whole class to participate in the competition together, which means that those students who are not good at sports will lose their points. Suzune thinks the interest of the class comes first and those students who are not physically fit have to make sacrifices for the class. At this point, Karizawa proposes to help every student rather than sacrificing some students for the sake of the class. After a vote, they finally decide to let the whole class participate in the competition together. In fact, Karuizawa raises the objection at Aino Kouji's behest. Karuizawa also wonders why an Aino Kouji says that he just wants to get Class D promoted to Class A. He also predicts that there will be a traitor in Class D in the sports festival, and he already came up with an idea to deal with it. Afterwards, Suzune ignores those who are not good at sports as she arranges for students to participate in sports competitions. At this point, Aino Kouji offers to partner with Suzune to train for the three-legged race. During the training, Aino Kouji completely disregards Suzune's feelings and runs faster and faster, which makes Suzune feel very difficult to follow up. After the training, Aino Kouji reminds Suzune to be tolerant of the students who are physically weak in the class. Suzune falls into silence, and then Aino Kouji reveals a secret. He suspects that Kushida is the traitor of Class D that caused them to lose the last exam on the ship. Soon, the sports festival comes. Class C got the list of the participants of Class D long time ago, so they keeps aiming at Class D during the competition, leading to Class D's bad scores. Suzune even gets her foot bumped by a student from Class C during the competition. Aino Kouji tells Karuizawa that someone in Class D leaked the list to Ryuen, whose aim is not only to win the competition, but also to destroy Suzune's fighting spirit this time. Then, Sudo, the key member, quits the following competitions because of the conflict breaking out with Class C during the competition which leaves Class D with no chance of winning. Aino Kouji finds Suzune, telling her that it is impossible to help Class D get promoted to Class A if she only thinks about herself and doesn't care about others. She must ask for her classmates' help if she wants to win, which makes Suzune realize that she has really done something wrong, and she decides to bring back their key player Sudo. Just as Suzune is about to look for Sudo, Ryuen finds her. The girl from Class C, who collided with Suzume not long ago, is very badly injured. Ryuen believes it was caused intentionally by Suzune, demanding 1 million private points from Suzune and also asking her to kneel down to apologize. Otherwise, he will report Suzune's violation to the school. But Suzune doesn't get intimidated. She finds Sudo, telling him that she will never give up on this sports festival because she wants to gain the approval from her brother, the student council president, and she hopes that Sudo can help her. Sudo is impressed by Suzune's words and eventually decides to return to the competition. With Sudo's participating, Class D does not suffer a big loss. Although Class D is not ranked high, the red team still wins. Meanwhile, Aino Kouji finds Kushida and exposes her betrayal to Class D. Kushida doesn't hide anymore, saying that her goal is to ruin Suzune and make her drop out of school. Now because of Aino Kouji's involvement, she's going to make Aino Kouji drop out of school along with Suzune. Afterwards, Ryuen threatens Suzune with the girl's injury again. Just then, Ryuen receives a recording of him abetting the girl of Class C to slander Suzune, causing his threatening plan to fail. It turns out that Aino Kouji used the video of the three girls of Class C bullying Karuizawa to make a deal, asking them to record Ryuen abetting his classmate to slander Suzune. Ryuen then realizes that there is someone more intractable in Class D besides Suzune. After solving the problem, the homeroom teacher gathers the students of Class D again and announces the rules for the upcoming final exam. This time, two students will form a team to complete the exam, and if their total score is less than 60, they will be expelled from the school. Also each class will set a theme and give it to another class. If the class receiving the theme ends up with getting higher scores than the class setting the theme, it will win 50 class points from the other class. Students need to focus on two points in this exam. One is how the pairs should be formed, and the other is how the class should set the theme. Class D decides to form the pairs based on a moth. Suzune changes her personality because of Aino Kouji and starts to discuss with her classmates about how to deal with this exam. She thinks this mock is very essential. Based on their scores of the past exams, she divides students into four levels, A, B, C, D. Students in level D must turn in blank papers so that they can be paired with students who has good grades in level A, while students in level C must try to get one answer correct so that they can be paired with the students in level B, by which they can minimize the risk of students being expelled. In addition, she decides to set the theme for class C, treating class C as a competitor. After the strategy for the mock is set, Suzune finds Kushida to have a bet. 
If Suzune scores higher than Kushida in this final exam, Kushida can neither betray Class D nor bother her. Otherwise, Suzune will drop out of school. To convince Kushida, Suzune asks her brother to be the witness. Kushida adds a condition to the bet, that if she wins, Ayano Kouji will also drop out of school along with Suzune. Hearing this, Ayano Kouji doesn't object. Now that the bet has been set, they wonder why Kushida betrays Class D. It turns out that Kushida was chased after by many of her classmates before as an excellent student. But as Suzune and Ayano Kouji, who are better than her, appear, she gets much less adulation and praise from her classmates. In order to get sought after again, Kushida has to force herself to become enthusiastic and integrate into different groups, which totally goes against her willingness. But she doesn't want to lose the approval of her classmates, so she has to kick Ayano Kouji and Suzune out. She is willing to betray Class D to achieve her goal. After making a bet with Suzune, Kushida finds Ryuen to leak the test questions to each other. Since Class C and Class D are arranged to set the theme for each other in this exam, what Kushida needs is to win this math exam, while Ryuen wants to make Class D fail. Soon, Ayano Kouji also takes actions. When Suzune holds a meeting on how to set questions for the final exam, Karuizawa, according to Ayano Kouji's secret instructions, deliberately splashes onto Kushida to dirty her school uniform. Afterwards, she apologizes to Kushida and promises to help her wash her clothes. Kushida is outwardly friendly to all her classmates, so she won't refuse Karuizawa's request. Shortly after, Kushida takes the questions paper to the homeroom teacher, pretending it was Suzune who asked her to take it here. She reminds the teacher that if someone brings another paper, the teacher can pretend to accept it but not use it because the student might be a traitor who is trying to change the test questions. The homeroom teacher takes a serious look at Kushida and then agrees to do so. Thinking that her plan is about to succeed, Kushida takes the exam questions to exchange with Ryuen. However, on the day of the final exam, Kushida finds out that the exam questions that Ryuen gave to her are completely different from the real exam. Kushida angrily asks him why he cheated her. Ryuen tells her that Suzune has seen through her strategy long ago. When the homeroom teacher announced the rules of the final exam, Suzune has privately asked the teacher to only receive the questions paper submitted by Suzune, the class representative, and all other students' questions would have to be destroyed. Ryuen doesn't get any benefit from Kushida, so he wouldn't give her the real questions. Then, he takes out a cheating note from her uniform. It turns out that the reason why Ayano Kouji instructed Karuizawa to deliberately dirty Kushida's uniform before, is that she could hide the cheating note inside Kushida's uniform when washing it. In this school, students who cheat will be expelled from school. Just in case that Suzune's plan doesn't work, Ayano Kouji can get Kushida framed for cheating and then force her to drop out of school. Anyway, Kushida has completely failed. She keeps her promise that she will not interfere with Suzune anymore. However, she still wants to make Ayano Kouji drop out of school. Now, Ryuen is still unaware that Ayano Kouji is the mastermind behind. Ayano Kouji makes a deal with Ryuen anonymously this time by revealing the fact that Kushida will surely lose to Suzune in exchange for the real test questions. On one hand, Ryuen wants to know how Suzune, the clever girl, will deal with Kushida. On the other hand, his deal with Kushida has been exposed. Even if Ryuen doesn't agree, he won't gain more benefits. Ryuen hates being set up. Now he only knows the mastermind behind seems to have something to do with Karuizawa. Next, he intends to take actions on Karuizawa. Because of Ayano Kouji and Suzune's excellent preparation, all the students in Class D pass the final exam, but the crisis still exists. One day, Ayano Kouji is called to the office by the homeroom teacher. It turns out that Ayano Kouji's father comes. From their conversation, we learn that it was one of the butlers of Ayano Kouji's fathers that provided Ayano Kouji with information of this school to help him attend the school, but now the butler has burned himself to death. Ayano Kouji's father forcefully threatens Ayano Kouji to sign a withdrawal agreement. For him, Ayano Kouji is a top talent belonging to him. Ayano Kouji, however, says that his father's orders only work in the white room, and now he has the right to say no. Just then, the school's chairman arrives. From the conversation between the chairman and Ayano Kouji's father, we learn that the chairman was a secretary of Ayano Kouji's father before and inherited this school afterwards. The chairman knows that Ayano Kouji's father wants Ayano Kouji to withdraw from the school, but he says the student's thought comes first in this school. As long as the student performs well enough, no one has the right to force the student to withdraw from the school. It was the chairman who recommended Ayano Kouji to enter this school at first. Now as long as Ayano Kouji does not personally agree to drop out of school, the chairman will not agree. Faced with such a tough chairman, Ayano Kouji's father has to give in for the time being. Afterwards, Ayano Kouji confronts with the homeroom teacher. At first, Ayano Kouji was threatened by the homeroom teacher that if he did not help Class D get promoted to Class A, the homeroom teacher would inform his father and Ayano Kouji would be forced to withdraw from school. Through his father's sudden visit this time, Ayano Kouji knows that the homeroom teacher was lying before, 
So he no longer accepts the deal with the homeroom teacher and decides to stay quiet and unimportant. It seems that Ayano Kouji comes to this school to escape from the white room controlled by his father. At night, Ayano Kouji contacts Karuizawa, saying that he will not help Class B anymore, so he doesn't need Karuizawa to do anything for him. Besides, he will delete Karuizawa's contact details and will not contact her again. But he will keep his promise to help Karuizawa once she is in danger. Hearing this, Karuizawa feels a little sad. Ayano Kouji wants to quit, but someone makes it difficult, who turns to be Ryuen. Since he had been set up several times by someone in Class D, he began to think of ways to find out this person. By asking around about Class D, he targets Kuenji, who is actually a loner. Then, Ryuen makes a terrible scene, but still fails to confirm the identity. Finally, Ryuen takes the most aggressive means, which is to lure Karuizawa, who has some connections with the mastermind behind, to a remote corner of the school. He investigated and discovered that Karuizawa had been bullied at her previous school and suffered from low self-esteem. Ryuen knows Karuizawa is afraid of exposing this experience, so she will not mention what happened today to others. And there are no cameras here, so the school can't find any evidence. He intends to insult Karuizawa, to remind her of her painful memories of being bullied and forces Karuizawa to reveal the identity of the mastermind behind. Under the humiliation and coldness, Karuizawa is shivering, but she does not reveal any information about Ayano Kouji because she has fallen in love with Ayano Kouji. Ryuen is not in a hurry. He has already informed the mastermind behind. That his has kidnapped Karuizawa through the phone which is used to make the deal with the mastermind last time, and he believes that the mastermind behind will rush to save Karuizawa, Ryuen hasn't realized that he's provoking a formidable enemy. It's true that Ayano Kouji won't give up on saving Karuizawa, but before that, he tells the homeroom teacher that Ryuen bullied Karuizawa. Then, he makes a deal with Suzune's brother Manabu. He asks Manabu to be the witness, proving that Ryuen starts everything and he has nothing to do with it. When everything is prepared, he volunteers to fall into the trap arranged by Ryuen. Ryuen finally meets Ayano Kouji, the mastermind behind Class D. He proudly states that any means can only yield to violence. Since Ayano Kouji is forced to show up, he must teach Ayano Kouji a lesson today. To his surprise, three of his men take turns to fight but are all easily defeated by Ayano Kouji. In the end, Ryuen himself is also beaten up by Ayano Kouji, who turns to have the supreme fighting skills besides his superior intelligence. Ryuen is not reconciled to his failure claiming that he will win against Ayano Kouji someday. However, he is completely crushed by Ayano Kouji's words. It turns out that even Ryuen's kidnapping of Karuizawa is in Ayano Kouji's plan, and he intends to completely defeat Ryuen with the violence that Ryuen relies on most, making Ryuen so frightened. After dealing with Ryuen, Ayano Kouji sincerely apologizes to Karuizawa. He confesses that he has been using Karuizawa, and he does not ask for her forgiveness, but promising to save her if she is in danger again. Karuizawa cries in Ayano Kouji's arms. She turns to be increasingly relying on Ayano Kouji now. Ayano Kouji not only saved Karuizawa, but also avoided punishment from the school. After that, a holiday comes. Ryuen loses all his confidence and ambition after this incident. Besides, he was supposed to be expelled, but Ayano Kouji explained to the school with an excuse to make him stay. Ryuen thinks Ayano Kouji helps him just to take the advantage of him. Ayano Kouji denies it but confesses that he is thinking of a way to make Kushida, the dangerous girl drop out of school next term. Soon, Christmas comes. Karuizawa finds a chance to give her Christmas gift to Ayano Kouji. Unexpectedly, Ayano Kouji also prepares a present for her, some medicine for cold. Because Karuizawa was drenched when she was kidnapped by Ryuan, Ayano Kouji thinks she may catch a cold. Seeing Ayano Kouji caring about her, Karuizawa feels happy. However, what Ayano Kouji is thinking now, is that his trick works well. It turns out Ayano Kouji has been taking the advantage of the relationship between him and Karuizawa from the very beginning. He deliberately offered to end their cooperation to make Karuizawa feel sad about losing him. And then he showed up to save her at the moment when Karuizawa was about to break down. Everything is in his plan to win Karuizawa's heart and control her. Ayano Kouji takes Karuizawa as a pawn. However, Ayano Kouji doesn't realize that as he takes the advantage of Karuizawa, a feeling beyond that of a pawn has been continuously rising in his heart. That brings the end of second season. What we can know now is that Ayano Kouji is doing all these to get rid of his father's control. Whatever he does with others is to achieve his goals, like a robot without any emotions. But what's the white room in his conversation with his father? Why does Ayano Kouji want to leave there? I look forward to seeing it revealed in the next season. Besides, I'm curious about how Karuizawa will get rid of being a pawn and show her advantage as the heroine of this anime. The anime broadcasts in the summer of 2022 are coming to an end, and I will update their recaps as soon as possible. Besides, Recaps of the anime in the autumn of 2022 will soon be posted on my channel. Comment below if you want to see other anime. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for your support to help my channel out. See you next time.